today we were talking about switching in class and we have a few components. Here you have your physical switcher. You also have a virtual one where you can see the same buses. This preview bus is the same as this preview bus. This program bus is the same as this program bus. Okay. This effects bus is the same as this effects bus. So the same exact thing. This is just physical. Same thing with the fader bar. You'll notice when I move it up and down, this one moves up and down. Okay. So really, well, all we really need to know here is that when we say ready one, take one, you would ready one. Here's your take button. Take one, it'll change. Ready three, take three, it'll change. Ready two, take two, it'll change. Ready um, DDR, which is the video, it'll change. But you need to have a video loaded. But these are your basic bucks, uh, buses. So for example, in the beginning when we say fade to black, you're going to need to have black on the line coming up on three, and then you would bring up three. Now that's the take button. That's going to go from one thing and cut between them. Let's say you want to dissolve or transition. You would use the auto button. And two things to know with the auto button. The first is what is my transition going to be? That is selected up here in the background bus, okay? Here is a row of favorites. Right now, fade is selected. So if I hit the auto button, it will fade from one to the other. But let's say I want something fancier, and I hit it, it will fade from, do a fancy transition from one to the other. And again and again, and you can change, choose whatever you like. All right, little fly in there. We like always love the fly ins. There you go. So, or even the wee ha ah, sound effects. Fun. So these are your row of favorites. But let's say you want to even go even further with that. There's a gear here that you select the gear. You go into transition. Right now we have the flare on board. But let's say you want to browse for many others. There is a whole list that we can use for this. We're gonna cancel it out and that would replace the flare, but we like the flare, so we're gonna keep it. Um, that is how you select what transition will be used when you hit the auto button. The other thing that's important to know is how long will the transition be? That's displayed up here where there's time and there's three different ways to change that. One is to scroll with the mouse, like I'm doing right now. The other is to punch in a time up here or the third is to actually use the rate knob and you can actually make it go up or down from one second to two seconds to however long you want. Also, I forgot to mention the select knob um, also will select along the favorites transition. So again, anytime you hit that auto button, you want to think about what is my transition and how long will it be?